guys, long time no see. I'm here to talk to you about Mandy 2019? Why did you do that to yourself? That's not a That's not a fruit roll up my main <laughs> man. Can you see did Mandy come out in 2019? Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Okay. Mandy. This has been on my watch list ever since it came out. I saw the Cheddar Goblin part of the movie and I was like, Oh my god, I need to see this. So when I watched it with um my friends for our mo our weekly movie night, I I cannot tell you how hype I was. Um, also they watched The Family Man without me and like, what the heck? I'm the only reason why we started watching Nicolas Cage movies and literally the one week I can't make it, they watch a Nicolas Cage movie without me. Wow, true friends, honestly. I haven't even seen it and I own the DVD. Anyways, Mandy, we're here to talk about Mandy. My blood pressure is rising at a rapid rate. Let's talk about Mandy. So, Mandy is like a fever dream. I could try to explain the plot to you, but would that even do you any good? Because I still don't kind of know what it's about. It's basically a story as old as time. Girl and boy fall in love, live in cabin in woods, boy sees another boy sees girl when they're when he's driving through the forest and thinks ooga booga i want her so that boy tells another girl hey i need her and so that boy and that girl get their family cult to break into original boy and girl's house in the cabin in the woods um, and separate them and try to uh, recruit original girl into the cult and original girl laughs at the cult boy because he can't get a boner and then boy that <laughs> can't get his pee pee up um burns her in a sleeping bag while original boy is watching and then original boy murders them so you've seen this movie a thousand times so i really don't have to go into more detail there is a character okay there's a few characters in the movie that the cult summons and they're like not human but kind of human um i don't really know what they are <laughs> they're things and um one of them is named fuck pig and i think that's kind of epic that's kind of awesome i'm naming my firstborn child fuck pig um there's also oh like slash Oh man, all of their names are like weird. Basically, I totally watched this through legal means, but the place that I watched it through totally legal means did not have subtitles. And um, I only watch things with subtitles because, you know, sometimes my hearing isn't that good. So I found a script of the movie and I was reading along but every other scene was cut out and um, s the actors ad-libbed a lot and so they wouldn't say the exact line and um, it was pretty hard for me to watch because of that because oh my god there's this one scene at the beginning where Mandy and Red, which is Nicolas Cage's character, 
are laying down in bed watching Three's Company on TV, maybe? Something like that. And she starts, Mandy, starts talking about her childhood. And it's probably like a five minute long scene. And so it was a friend's movie night. So we were talking during it. And so I was like, wait, can we like see the scene over again? Because I can't hear what she's saying. And then we found the script. So I was reading along. And then we had to start the whole movie over because another friend joined us. So we started the movie over so they would know what we were watching. And then we had to like keep rewinding this scene because she talks so slow. She talks like this. And my dad had a pillow case and inside <laughs> that pillow case was Starlings, babies, and, and, and literally, I'm not exaggerating, this scene is at least five minutes long, and she's just talking about how all her friends killed a bunch of baby birds, and it's just like, what's the point of this? Number one, what's the point of this? Number two... Please, please just talk. And the whole time she's not saying exactly what the script is saying because it's all one shot for like five minutes. And you know, <laughs> actors in a musical can memorize music numbers, but it's impossible for actors in a movie to memorize a script. So she's just like kind of saying the script, kind of not. And it's just so, you know, cause there's no music cues. It's just her talking, a monologue, five minutes. Nicolas Cage is like, man, that sucks at the end. But it's so, so much. And there were a few scenes where it's just like, what's the point of this? Um. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of the movie was me having to explain what they said or what is happening because I was the only one reading the script. So I was like, "Oh, actually she's doing this because of this." And also, you can't really tell she's laughing at him because his penis can't get erect. Um, which is very clear in the, in the, in the script, but yeah, maybe I'll, I'll post a script in the description of this video so you can read it too. I was thinking, I was thinking I really want to take the script and make my own movie from it, like all the scenes and everything, but... There's so many, like, weapons. Like, there's a chainsaw fight. Um, I can't get a hold of two chainsaws. So, I was thinking maybe doing a really, really bad movie. Like, say, <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, sorry, children. Don't look. Don't look. It's a weapon. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Mandy. Um, I liked the movie. I thought it was very funny. There's a scene where Nicolas Cage is in a bathroom chugging a whole handle of vodka. And I think it's very relatable. Also, the bathroom has carpet, like shag carpet in the bathroom. And I thought that was epic because um, I love the thought of a moldy carpety 
shaggy carpet floor. I thought that scene perfectly pictured 2020 because I watched it <laughs> last year. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, pretty cool. Pretty epic. I'm so excited to watch Color Out of Space. Color out in the space. Color in the space. Color and space. Search Nicolas Cage color. It should it should come up with something. Out of space. Color out of space. Did I say that? I think I said. I'm, <laughs> said I think I said. Else, I think I said color out of space. I think I said that. Yeah. I'm just talented. What can I say? Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Mandy. Yeah. I also recently watched Home Alone 1 and 2 for the first time. I don't really want to make a video reviewing those, though, because I feel like everyone has seen Home Alone one and two. Um. <laughs> yeah. Basically, that's it. Oh my god. History of Swear Words on Netflix. Watch it. Nicolas Cage is in it. It's so good. Nick Offerman's also in it. And sometimes I can't tell which one of them is talking until <laughs> you see their face. Because they sound so similar. But... History of Swear Words on Netflix. Use my code um, nick.cage to get 50% off your first six swear words. If you're in the Discord server I'm in, I'm sorry for recycling a joke that I already made. But um, that's comedy, baby. <laughs> you, you have anything you want to say to my, my soldiers? Um, uh, no. <laughs> no, you heard it here first, <laughs> folks. You said no. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please name your children Fuck Pig. <laughs> There's pain in my eyes right now. Um, please... Please watch Mandy on a legal streaming site and read my script that I'm posting in the description of this video. Do you mind? I'm a YouTuber, Luke. <laughs> Luke, what Nicolas Cage movie should I watch next? Adaptation. Adaptation. That's a pretty good one. I have been meaning to rewatch it. Maybe I'll Kick watch it. Name another Nick Cage movie. Uh, National Treasure. <laughs> oh, man. If I see one more person put an H in Nicolas Cage's name, I swear to God. That's not his name. His name is N I C. O-L-A-S. Everywhere. I was on Twitter, which I just made a Twitter. I'm not sure how it works. And someone tweeted, like, <laughs> something about how, like, it's not impressive that Nicolas Cage stole the Declaration of Independence because of certain um, events that just happened yesterday. <laughs> I wonder what those events could be. Um, and they put an H in the sleep. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Also, Nicolas Cage did not steal it. It was the character that Nicolas Cage was playing. He was not playing himself in that movie. Anyways, this has been an A-B conversation. So I'll see you in the next video if I ever make one. Peace. Peace and love. Peace and love. You may piss now. I wasn't trying to piss, I just wanted to wash my hands. <laughs>